Who wants to go outside? Who wants to go outside? Today's gonna be my first day. I have um, splurged throughout this whole year. And I just missed some of the benefits that I got from the carnivore diet the first time around. It's weird because I actually only weigh like four more pounds than I did when I got to my lowest weight. Uh, my body composition has changed. Obviously, you can probably tell my face looks like a little chubbier. Um, and my legs are skinnier. I had nice, like super strong defined legs and I have like cellulite under my butt. Um, so I thought the only way I was gonna stick to this is if I documented on YouTube. So here I am back. And this funky hair, man. I did not actually sign up for this. I did not do this willingly. I had another hairstyle in mind and um, they totally f***ed it up. <laughs> All right, anyways, um, I guess I'll make like a little vlog out of this or what I eat in a day. So stay tuned for what I will be eating today. First thing I'm having today is coffee because we're not crazy dogmatic here. You know, it's something I noticed from drinking, from doing carnivore the first time around. One of the unexpected side effects was that I stopped enjoying coffee as much as I used to. I kept drinking it, but because that, you know, the routine and stuff, but I just didn't get that same kind of like, ah, feeling that you get after the first sip. Um, well, obviously now since I've quit carnivore for a while, I have that ah, effect back. So I guess I'll make a little series of videos just talking random stuff and about what's been going on with me lately. Nothing bad, good things, risky things. I kind of quit my job because I wanna work on some little side projects that I won't talk about yet because I've got this weird su superstition that when you've got something that you want to succeed or you want uh, something good you want to happen, when you talk about it, or at least it's been my case, when I talk about it, it doesn't go through. <laughs> Um, I don't actually believe in this, like it's like some force, you know, but I don't know, it's just weird, I just don't want to talk about it yet, so anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next little clip to see what I'm going to have for lunch, breakfast, I don't know, probably wait till 11 or 12 to eat. Alright guys, well, it is um, only 9 o'clock and I'm already hungry, so I am going to have some bacon. That's going to be my first meal of the day. Bacon with lemon, because that's my favorite way to eat bacon. So here it goes. I don't like to make it crispy, so I'll just kind of, um, I'll kind of fry it for a little bit, but I still like it soggy and juicy. So that's what I'm going to do. I got to take, uh, I have to take before pictures later. Um, cause I want to see how much recomposition my body's going to do. So, right. So, this is it. Not a lot of bacon. If I were to eat according to my hunger, I would probably eat more, uh, bacon. Maybe like two or three more, uh, slices. But something I'm trying to avoid this time around when doing carnivore is at the very beginning of carnivore, like the first two, two to three weeks, um, last time I did this, I got really bad body odor. It, it kind of went on and off because I remember making a video saying like, oh my God, it's disappeared. But then sometimes it would come back um, and it was typically like worse than usual, like non-carnivore body odor, like armpits mainly. Um, and I, th I think from what I've read that that happens because you're not digesting what you're eating completely, which would make sense when you're starting carnivore because you need a, you know, you're up, it, your bile needs to get upregulated, lipase, enzymes, and, you know, well, I don't know, all, all of these pancreatic and um, uh, liver enzymes uh, need to adjust to how much fat you're consuming, right? So I'm trying to keep my meals small just to give my body enough time to produce more bile and enzymes to digest everything because I don't want to go through that weird BO um, phase. So I'm just going to have this. Uh, if I'm if I want to eat again another hour or two, uh, I will. I just want to give my body enough time to digest what I am eating. So, bon appetit. 
I had more bacon, and now I'm watching the live stream with John Venus. Yeah. Could you guys, I feel so uh, bad for him. I feel like he shouldn't have volunteered to have this conversation. You guys, um, I feel like everybody should just leave him alone. Poor guy. I don't get my information from any one person. All right. So I think I'm ready to have something else. I'm going to make a smoothie that I got from uh, this paleo chick that I discovered a few months ago. Uh, her name is Melissa Hennig, and I bought her book. Uh, she follows like a raw paleo diet. Um, so she does have vegetables and fruits and stuff. But I think she keeps vegetables pretty low, and she eats a lot of raw food. So anyway, I'm going to make a smoothie with raw butter, eggs, and strawberries, and some honey to sweeten it. Not necessarily looking to be in ketosis, I just want to lower my uh, fiber intake and go more meat-based um, at this point. I don't know. I'll see what I, what I do in a couple of days. I kind of want to ease the transition period um, because the first time I did this, I had chronic diarrhea for like three weeks straight. <laughs> so I'm going to try to minimize my fiber very slowly. Um, yeah, because that was no fun. Uh, it was weird. It was like constipation interspersed with uh, like terrible runs for three weeks. Um, if you guys remember my first carnivore challenge. So... Anyway, I'll try to record how I make this. I think it's a half cup of butter, <clears throat> raw butter that I have um, at room temperature. Um, pasture raised eggs from a local farm that I buy my raw dairy from. So I need, I think I need two hands for what I'm doing. That's all right. Okay, that was too difficult to record, so these are just all the ingredients. It's about a cup of strawberries, uh, like a third of a cup of raw butter, because I'm all out of the um, room temperature butter, uh, two pasture-raised eggs, raw, and half a tablespoon of honey. And I'm just going to blend that. Check if that looks pretty smooth. All right, that doesn't look uh, very chunky at all. It looks pretty creamy and smooth. So here it goes. Guys, whenever I have one of these smoothies, I feel incredible. Uh, it feels kind of like when you have liver on an empty stomach. I don't know if you're familiar with that feeling, or at least for me, when I eat liver on an empty stomach, I don't know, I just feel this like buzz of energy like this just mood lift uh, maybe like 30 minutes after I get a very similar effect from drinking these raw butter smoothies so I'm gonna have this and then um, I don't know whether I'll eat again later on in the day uh, but if I do this is what I'm gonna have and um, I think the first couple of days uh, I tend to eat a lot more than I end up eating later on as I transition so, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to be hungry enough. And I also want to stop eating really late at night, so. Alright, I'm going to enjoy this, and I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, uh, so I thought I would just wrap up the uh, what I ate today, uh, day one of the kind of carnivore reset. Uh, because I'm going to go to a friend's house in a couple of hours, and I might not be back till I don't know, midnight, 11 o'clock, and that's, it's too late for me to make a video here. I'm staying at my parents' house, and I can't uh, wake anybody up. And the lighting is going to be terrible, too. So so I'm not going to eat anything else as of this point. Uh, the last thing I ate was that smoothie, and that's uh, very, very satiating. If you have not tried that, I highly recommend it. If you're doing carnivore very strictly, then just don't, uh, don't add the strawberries. And honey is still considered carnivore, I think, for the most part. If you're trying to stay in ketosis, then obviously don't do the honey. Just do the just do the raw eggs with butter, and I'm sure you're gonna feel that same feel-good effect that I feel after uh, taking it. So I'm also making an effort to not eat late at night. Um, so I want to do some kind of you know intermittent fasting. So yeah, I'm just gonna wrap it up now. I'll talk about what I'm expecting to get from this rerun of the what of this trial of the carnivore diet. Well, that's my mom coming, so talk to you guys later.